Hi, my name is Gord Bennett, and this is the Spruce Grove Composite High School Arcade Project. Me and my team of technological geniuses will be creating a fully functional arcade machine that will end up in the student lounge. We hope that this will bring joy and entertainment to all the students of our school long after we have graduated. I was sitting in class one day, like a good student, I'm on YouTube, and um, I saw this video of how to make an arcade machine. Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're finally going to start the arcade cabinet. And it was just like this four video tutorial, and I showed it to my teacher and he's like, you, you should definitely do this. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. And he kind of just encouraged us to pursue it and I didn't, I didn't even know if it was, was going to happen for the first two months. But then we got the funding for it and that's when it got really real. So we got all the administrators together and I just uh, pitched the idea to them and we got about, we estimated for about $600 and uh, we really sold it I think with uh, all the modules that it includes. So we took uh, people from a whole bunch of different courses. And what it was, it was the CTS department. So that's uh, ComTech, ElectroTech, Construction. Uh, we also had art, which technically isn't CTS, and design, we had design as well. And uh, I took what I could find were the best people from each uh, course, and we got them together to try and make something really cool for the school. They just all worked together really well, and we got the project together. I just came into this brand new school in grade 10. A little overwhelming, but I wanted to throw myself into a project. So they came and talked about this, so I thought, you know what? I've got some experience with computer arts, I'm really interested in this. Why not give it a go? So I sent them my stuff, and they came back to me, and they said, yeah, we'll have you on the team. And I was really, really excited. I'm really familiar with Nintendo, so Mario, Luigi, yeah, um, Link from Legend of Zelda, Kirby, there was Sonic from Sega, you know, Space Invaders, classic things like that that everybody could recognize. What we did is, it's just this little circuit board called the uh, Raspberry Pi, and uh, we run a whole bunch of emulators, so we got like Nintendo 64 and all that stuff. So it's like a whole bunch of different systems on this one little circuit board, and then we got all the games on there as well. I didn't even know what Raspberry Pi is before I worked with it. And while I'm programming, people ask me to put new games, like different games I haven't even heard about, and I put some new games people liked it. I couldn't even imagine like it'll gonna be this huge. I thought it'll gonna be just like like this tiny big. We asked yeah, we asked the student body what they wanted to see on it. The majority of the kids we asked were grade twelves. So we could get some there, but Yeah. Martin, watch your head. Ah! Time was the biggest hurdle. It was, uh, there's a lot of waiting, just ordering parts and then ordering wood. Like when we were getting stuff together, it was really great. There was a lot of energy and it, everything went great. But then there was like good chunk, like months almost, where you couldn't do anything. You couldn't do any work just because you had to wait. You had to wait for the stuff to come in. So it, it's been pretty positive, the reaction. I'm excited for people to actually get to try it a bit more. I think they'll really enjoy it. It's pretty simple to use. I don't believe that this kind of project's ever been attempted before, so it was really cool to get something like this in the school and just get this kind of experience. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.